Hey, we're back with uh, Heather from the Manitoba Mushroom Growers Association, and we're making something I'm really looking forward to, which is a... French bread, or uh, Mushroom Lovers French Bread Pizza. Oh. Yes. So we're lots of using lots of mushrooms in this recipe. It can be used as a main dish. Uh, all you would need to add to it is a salad, or you could use it as a side uh, bread dish with your meal. Oh, that would be... Yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. And even with a, a steak. Yes. Couldn't you? That For would be sure. perfect. Yes. So what I've got here is uh, in the fry pan are some white mushrooms and some cremini mushrooms. So I've done a, a mixture of the two mushrooms, sliced with some butter and about four cloves of garlic. Oh, you have to have garlic yes. in there. Uh, now, you could use almost any combination of, of mushrooms, you? could. You? Yeah, you could use some portobello, some oysters, some shiitake, and you could get some really good earthy flavors going beautiful, in there. Beautiful, yes. Okay, so once you've got your mushrooms cooking, uh, they'll cook for about eight to 10 minutes, and you want the moisture to come out of them and the, and the flavors to blend. And we're Getting close here. Yeah, I think we're getting fairly close. So after they've cooked for a bit, then we're going to add some more flavoring. So I have a half a cup of uh, white wine. Okay, so we're going to add that. We're going to use all of that in there then. Yeah, we're going to use all of that in there. A tablespoon of red wine vinegar. Okay, so that gives it Just a bit a of a, a sharper taste to it. And I've got a tablespoon of fresh thyme. Yeah, so we're just going to add that in. And again, you just want to let those flavors blend, melt together uh, for another few minutes. It's okay, you can actually turn the heat up a little bit. I just have. Yep, and yeah. then the moisture will, will, will be released. So that's the mushroom part. Then what you're going to do is put it into a French bread um, loaf. Oh. So this particular is Not a the baguette, loaf, not you want the full loaf. Correct. Yeah, you want it to be a little bigger. So what I've done is I've taken a serrated knife and just sliced it lengthwise into two pieces and then you're going to cut the pieces in half. So I'm just going to cut them in half there and then you open them up. And you get your four pieces of the French bread. Again, you could cut them after into smaller pieces as an appetizer idea. So now at this point, what I'm going to do is you're just going to take out some of the uh, bread in the middle. In, in the loaf. And what that does is you're going to make like a little bowl for the mushroom mixture to, to uh, put into. Of course. You're going to put it into that. So the you just bread you can use for bread crumbs or something. Bread or crumbs, or stuffing, yep, yeah, whatever you like. Um, so just take out, you know, about half of it. You want some of the bread left, but not all of it. And at this point, what you're going to do is put this bread onto a cookie sheet and you're going to put that into the oven. Now, you, you don't want to lose all that juice you, right. you mentioned earlier because you want a lot of that to just sort of soak up into the bread, don't you? That's right. So we've got our bread. We've toasted the bread a bit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to spoon the mushrooms into the bowl of the French bread that we've uh, created by taking out some of the bread. Now, this is in, in the oven mm. usually for about how long? You don't want to over toast it, do you? No. When you toast it, you're, you're looking at about five or six minutes. Not yeah. very long. Yeah. You want to keep an eye on it. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. So then you're going to fill um, the bread with the mushrooms, and then you're going to top it with some grated Swiss cheese. Oh, And then that goes my. back under the broiler, and you want to just broil it until you melt the cheese. So probably just a couple of minutes. Yep. Because everything else is cooked underneath. Yes. Listen, tell me about the Mushrooms Go Pink campaign. Okay. And there was something like this last year as well. Yes. They actually, that was the introductory year, was last year, first time. So this year, what they're doing it again, it was so successful. Uh, mushrooms for the month of October will be sold in the pink tills. You look for these in the grocery store, and for every package of pink tills that they sell, um, Canadian mushroom growers will donate money to the Breast Cancer um, Society. Wonderful. Tills, is that the word? Tills, yep, or trays. Know them. Yes. We learn something all the time. Yes. Okay, I'm putting this in the oven. No, we're going to fill this. We'll do yes. them both at the same time. We'll take a quick break, and we'll yeah. be right back. Please stay with us.